Title, Market as an Efficient System of Information The market price system provides a highly efficient mechanism for disseminating information about relative scarcities of goods, services, labor, and financial capital. Market participants do not need to know why prices have changed, only that the changes require them to revisit previous decisions they made about supply and demand. Price controls hide information about the true scarcity of products and thereby cause misallocation of resources. Demand and Supply Curves The figure displays a generic demand and supply curve. The horizontal axis shows the different measures of quantity, a quantity of a good or service, a quantity of labor for a given job, or a quantity of financial capital. The vertical axis shows a measure of price, the price of a good or service, the wage in the labor market, or the rate of return, like the interest rate, in the financial market. We can use the demand and supply curves explain how economic events will cause changes in prices, wages, and rates of return. Increased demand for nurses in 2014, the median salary for nurses was $67,490. As demand for services increases, the demand curve shifts to the right, from D0 to D1, and the equilibrium quantity of nurses increases from K0 to K1. The equilibrium salary increases from P0 to P1. Decreased supply of nurses, the increase in demand for nurses leads to both higher prices and higher quantities demanded. As nurses retire from the workforce, the supply of nurses decreases, causing a leftward shift in the supply curve and higher salaries for nurses at P2. The net effect on the equilibrium quantity of nurses is uncertain, which in this representation is less than K1, but more than the initial K0. The actions of individual consumers and producers as they react to prices overlap and interlock in markets for goods, labor, and financial capital. A change in any single market is transmitted through these multiple interconnections to other markets. The vision of the role of flexible prices helping markets to reach equilibrium and linking different markets together helps to explain why price controls can be so counterproductive. Price controls are government laws that serve to regulate prices rather than allow the various markets to determine prices. Prices are like messengers. They signal market movements. Restricting them will ultimately cause markets to dysfunction.